<laughs> Check this guy out. I have a time lapse companion. Hey? Choo choo. Butt butt. There we go. While that time lapse is finishing up, I thought I'd give you a little bit of curiosa. This shirt that I got on me right here is actually designed and uh, fixed by me. Everything from the seams to the print, you name it, fabric, I have chosen. During the 10 years that I've had my company, a couple of those years was trying to sell apparel. It uh, didn't take off. I think I ordered around like 100 or 150 sweatshirts and didn't even sell near close to all of them. So I made a huge loss. But I tried. I think that that's the most important thing. I'm going to do some updates to the studio today. Just saying, who the hell needs a pickup? I'm gonna try a different type of thumbnail today where I have a little bit brighter and more focus on the actual product because the downside about taking thumbnails here in the studio is that there's so many things to look at except for what is actually in the thumbnail. It's gonna be interesting to see, <laughs> interesting to see the results. This is the thumbnail that I ended up with and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Would definitely love to see some text on it but I I hope it's gonna work. I don't know. We're gonna try. The reason that I'm sharing this kind of stuff with you here in the vlog is because I think that this might be interesting for someone that is starting out or maybe wants to grow their own channel to see what actually works and what not works. Because having the analytics of a bigger channel might be good for you. Who knows? Just uh, happy you're watching. Huh? I want to talk quickly about microphones and more specifically shotgun microphones because I've been using a couple of different ones during the time that I've been shooting my YouTube videos. One of the most popular ones has definitely been the Rode VideoMark Pro Plus. It is a fantastic microphone and the overall audio quality with this microphone has been really good. I'm very satisfied with it. It has been an absolute workhorse when it comes to shooting vlogs or anything else, but it is also incredibly huge when you have it mounted to your camera with the uh, dead cat on. So it's not something that I would walk around with, but the good thing about it is that you can put it on different places with the hot shoe or you don't have to have it in the actual hot shoe of the camera to be able to record the sound. The other microphone that I've been using quite a lot here in the studio has been the Rode VideoMic NTG. And what I like the most about this microphone is that it is really, really small. It doesn't have a big footprint and when you take this off, it's just this, a regular NTG mic. And this is great for interviews, talking head videos, any kind of rigged up shooting that you might do when you're working. And the overall audio quality of this microphone is also insanely good, so there's absolutely nothing to complain about. It looks way smaller than the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus does, but if you do attach the dead cat to it, it's gonna be a bigger, bulkier setup. And for quite some time when I was recording videos here in the studio, I actually used this microphone as my main microphone. But the majority of the time, whenever I'm shooting any kind of video, I am actually using this microphone. This is the Sony ECM B1M, I think it's called. It is probably the absolute best shotgun microphone that I have ever used. The absolute best part about this microphone is the audio quality because it, I think it sounds so incredibly good for such a small microphone. And you do not have to think about charging it or plugging it into your camera because everything is done with the hot shoe. And the footprint of this microphone is also incredibly small. But it's also the biggest weakness that this microphone has because 
you cannot use the microphone unless it's actually plugged into your hot shoe. And it's also incredibly expensive when you compare it to the other ones. Not only do you have incredibly crisp audio when you're in front of the camera, but one of the coolest things about this microphone is the possibility to have noise cancellation when you're like this, so there's nothing to be heard around the camera, but also that you have an omnidirectional possibility when you're taking the camera and having it this way. So now that I'm using the directional microphone, my voice is gonna be very low. But when we switch over to the omnidirectional voice, then my voice is gonna be much more clear and it's not gonna be as muffled out as it was previously. It takes a little bit getting used to the different switches that this microphone has, but I would say that this microphone probably is one of the best microphones that I've ever used. It's so incredibly good not having the need to charge your microphone or think about any sort of connections that you have to do except for the hot shoe. I'm gonna drop a link down below to if you want to check out the microphones that I used in this game. Finally, have a spot for the uh, for the bags. Let me introduce you to the new gear wall. I would love to have a little bit more time today to finish this up, but I love how it turned out. Something I've been very bad at my entire life has been to have structure and be organized and to keep things clean around me. But ever since I started working with my own company, that is also when I started to take that responsibility because there's no one else cleaning for me and there's no one else trying to find out any sort of routines or structures that I can use. It's all up to me, va? So what do you think? Drop a comment down below. And uh, still, still debating on what I'm going to have here. I'm just gonna put some chargers, all that good stuff, and we're done.